So I'm here with Van Jones, who's a special right. achievement winner tonight for various, yeah. various initiatives, yes. including the web series The Messy Truth yes. and Yes We Code. Congratulations, yeah. such an honor to have you here. How does it feel to be here? I feel honored and I feel happy and um, I'm surprised as well because um, the we, this little web series that we did, like we're totally independent, grassroots style, just went, went into Trump uh, country about two weeks before the election and talked to Trump voters and then all of a sudden, boom, got a webby. That's how it works? That's awesome. Works. Congratulations again. Um, so we saw a lot of division, a lot of fighting on the internet uh, during the election season and in the months since then. Um, and like you said, you worked to kind of, <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. We're to foster understanding between people with different yeah. beliefs through the Messy Truth web series. Yeah. In your opinion, what do you think we need to be doing more of online to bridge our differences? Uh, less being mean. I mean, it's like, we're, we're like, like the, a kindergarten classroom has more manners, grace, and wisdom than most uh, exchanges on Twitter. And it's really terrible because, you know, I think that people have forgotten that at the end of the day, we need each other. Republicans uh, don't have all good ideas, they don't have all bad ideas, uh, neither do Democrats. We've got to actually start listening to each other again. I remember when I was a little kid, we talked about liberty and justice for all. Liberty, conservative concept, limited government, justice, liberal concept, you know, sticking up for the underdog. It's both together that make the country great, and we've totally forgotten that. So a lot of people unfollow those with different beliefs on yes. social media and kind of just yes. tune them out online. What would you say to people who do that? And how can we like well, stand firm in our beliefs without living in an echo chamber? Well, it's tough because if you're, there's two ways to think about it. If somebody is being mean to you personally, somebody's just being a mean person, says, I don't like you or your tie or your little stubble, oh. which is so cute. But if they're saying that, then you know that's bad and you might feel hurt and it might bring up issues you may want to unfollow those people even block those people at the same time if somebody's just saying like i think trump is doing a good job if, if that's going to give you the vapors and you're going to faint over that that doesn't make any sense you know you've got to deal with the fact that we live in a country where 60 million people voted for one person and 60 million voted for the other and so i think people need to be a little bit more open-minded very true. Um, so you have another, uh, a number of other initiatives, including Yes We Code, which is helping 100,000 people from underrepresented backgrounds get the training they need to get a job in tech. Um, eventually. 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 That's the idea. Which is really amazing work. Um, what made it motivated you to start that initiative in particular? Uh, well, you know, Prince, uh, the late rock star, was a good friend of mine. And when um, uh, there, all the police killings were going on and that kind of thing, um, and when Trayvon Martin's uh, killer was exonerated by that jury, uh, he said, we got to do something. And Prince, being the genius that he was, he said, you know, if you see a black kid wearing a hoodie, a lot of times you might be afraid he's some kind of a thug. But if you see a white kid wearing a hoodie, you say, hey, there goes Mark Zuckerberg. And so he says, well, why don't we create a lot more African-American, Latino, Latina, uh, Mark Zuckerbergs and Sheryl Sandbergs and really go big on figuring out how to get technology education to young people. So that's what we've been doing. We've got dozens of technology partners. We're far from 100,000, but we're on our way. Awesome. That's amazing. Uh, my last question for you, we're doing a little quiz with our guests on the carpet tonight. Oh, God, I hate quizzes. Oh, man. Well, just one. Just one quiz. One question. Uh, what was the weirdest thing you've ever ordered for food delivery on Seamless? The weirdest thing I ever ordered for food delivery on Seamless? Um, you know, I don't eat weird food. I mean, I just you don't eat weird food. I don't eat weird food. Like I'm, 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 I'm a non-foodie. I know it's like it's a crime. I feel like I could oppress minority, but I just mainly I mainly eat pizza, and when my wife's not around, donuts. Fair enough. Fair enough. Everyone has their vices. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Peace.